In this video, we will take a closer look at the Soldier Pile Retaining Wall module. We will examine the various input and output data as well as discuss the module's engineering capabilities. We first uh, start by clicking on the Add button and navigating to the Earth Retention tab. You can see the various Earth Retention uh, modules that Intercalc offers. Today, we're focusing on the Soldier Pile Retaining Wall module, so let's click on that. This module has the familiar layout that all of the Intercalc modules have. The input data is on the left-hand side, while the output results are displayed on the right-hand side. We will start with the General tab and we'll work our way through. First, let's give this calculation a name. Let's call it SPRW1. Then, you can pick the preferred design methodology for the steel section. In this example, we will use the ASD uh, design methodology. Next, we select the preliminary pile size that we want to use. You can access the steel section database by clicking on this button. From this window, you can choose the AISC edition as well as the section type. You can use a W section, HSS, pipe, or whatever you prefer. In this example, we will start with a W10 by 22. Before we move on to fill in more info, I recommend clicking on the construction tab on the right hand side. This will display a dynamic sketch of the wall construction. This is useful in visually verifying the data we input on the left side. You can input the retained height in feet. In this example, we need to retain 15 feet of soil. You can see the sketch on the right side got updated to reflect the updated retaining height of 15 feet. Next, we have tie back usage. You can select none if you do not plan on using ties. Intercalc supports the use of up to three ties. You can then input the location of each tie in feet from the top of the retained soil. For example, we can click on three and we can put the first tie at three feet from the top, the second tie at six feet from the top, and the third tie at 11 feet from the top. Those changes are automatically depicted in the 2D sketch on the right hand side. Also, you can select how you want Intercalc to treat the bottom of pile support condition. You can choose if you want it to be pinned or fixed. Of course, this option is available only when you have tie backs. For this example, we will design the pile without any tie backs. So let's change our selection from three tie backs to none. Once we finish this example, we will run another scenario where we do have tie backs, but for now, let's assume we do not have any tie backs. Next, you will need to select the spacing of the piles in feet. We will keep it at 8 feet. You also have the option to use a multiplier for the passive pressure wedge as well as choose the yield stress for the pile. Since we're using a W section, then we will pick FY to be 50 KSI. You will also have the option to model a pile that is encased in concrete. If you select yes, you will get a warning note regarding the minimum diameter of the encasement. Once you input an acceptable encasement diameter, the warning note will disappear. Again, in our example, we do not have concrete encasement. However, we noted this so our users know that Intercalc is capable of handling concrete encased piles. So we will go back and click no to remove the encasement. Next, we have the pile flange width. This is already pre-populated for you based on the width of the W section you selected. A W10 by 22 indeed has a flange width equal to 5.75 inches. However, you can override this number and input your own width. We will keep it as is. 
Then you input the total pile embedment length in feet. If you have a number in mind that you do not want to exceed, then this will be your cap. I would like to keep the embedment length to about 15 feet for this example. The last item we have under the general tap is the unbraced length of the pile for lateral torsional buckling. You can consider the pile to be completely unbraced or fully braced. For this example, we will keep the pile as completely unbraced. This concludes all of the information under the general tap and we are ready to move on to the lateral earth brusher tap. If you like to learn more or have any questions, you can visit our website innercalc.com or send us an email at support at Thank you for watching.